So West Ham, 14 defeats in 25 games in the Premier League. Their, their biggest defeat, actually, in the league since August 2019. Slipping the form, isn't it, Owen? But, yeah, it's slipping. But they had a brilliant season last year. Overachieved massively. Mm. Um, and I like that interview from David Moore. It's just reminding people of everything they did last year. I know football's unforgiving. Mm. And they spend a lot of money and they're trying to change the style, be a little bit more positive, more technical. But the results haven't been there. And a lot of players they signed haven't really stepped up. So... I, I, I'm with David Moore. I think you've got to, you know, remember the good times. I don't, I don't think they're going to go down, mm -hmm. but it's, it's been a, a learning curve this season for sure. Defensively, offensively, they just haven't been the West Ham that we, that we saw last year. Is that the issue though with the recruitment? They sign players that don't fit the style. Yeah, and look, and I think he's been honest as well. I think he said it on a podcast that he did as well that in order to try and move West Ham into a new direction, mm. he's had to change the way the standing might be two steps back to take, you know, one step back to take two steps forwards from. It hasn't worked as of yet, but you have to agree with Owen. Look at the bigger concept of what he's done when he first came to the club. They were right down the bottom. He's mm. put them up there. And you have to evolve, and he's trying to do that, and it mm. hasn't been as successful as last season, this season. And David Moyes full of praise for Roberto De Zerbi. Are we taking them seriously in their charge for Europe, Brighton? Oh, I think everybody took Brighton serious a long time ago. You know, they're, they're mm. probably one of the best run football clubs in the country, mm. Mm -hmm. top to bottom. You know, they do a brilliant job of recruitment. You know, they're losing players, and all of a sudden they're losing managers, and they're kicking on. They're, they're a better version than they were under Graham Potter. Mm. Brilliant uh, offensive mind, De Zerbi. They really like to press. They like to keep the ball, interchange in positions, score goals. So Brighton are a special football club. Um, I'm curious to see where they where they can go to because we've seen to get into the big six, you need, well, arguably billions potentially, hundreds yeah. and hundreds of millions. Brighton are not a football club. Um, so they're punching way above their weight, Karen. They are, but as you mentioned, they're very well run and they're very innovative. So they are fully aware that they can't spend the monies to get where you just suggested there, but they might try other ways of, about how to do it. And that is the recruitment. But they have been brilliant in finding that talent. But what I don't want for Brighton is to sell all their best assets and actually then crumble. I think now they've got to a point where they've got a good squad. Actually keep them and add a few and you've got a brilliant manager. How about you keep them and maybe not sell everybody on and see where the team could go? That's the frustration, isn't it? Because Roberto De Zerbi is going to be in the window for a lot of big clubs, maybe not in the Premier League in Italy as well. Of course, he was Shakhtar, the next manager before this one.